They're here. Listen, it's quite obvious that we are being visited on a regular basis now by UFOs, extraterrestrials, yeah. aliens, whether they be under the water, uh, under the ice in Antarctica, mm -hmm. or coming from the sky. Meow, meow, and all Just that, like that. stuff. Boom. So I was thinking Third that NASCAR. we always think that when the aliens do land and show themselves to us, that they mean us harm. Every movie, right, yes. is, oh, look out for the, there they are right there. Independence uh, Day. Here come the aliens. I figure that we've got that wrong. Oh. They might come down and be intrigued by our way of life. Like E.T.? Right? Yes. I'm like E.T. Sure. Yes. yes. Phone home. Phone <laughs> they, home. They Another 40-year-old movie they reference. Good job, Cody. Oh, boy. That, yeah, that was a tough one. Uh, I was gone with the wind. Do you want to reference <laughs> that That was 1935. <laughs> yeah. That's a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's an old soul when it yeah, comes I to am. movies. So I was thinking, uh, a little quick little quiz for you yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. If the aliens come down okay. and we have a powwow... And they recognize that Americans have this crazy, uh, addictive love affair with sports. Okay. As we do. 113 million people watch the Super Bowl. I don't know what the other 200 million people were doing, but the 113 million people mm -hmm. watched it. So I'm going to go sport to sport. I will see where you guys wind up with this, okay? okay? Okay. Let us start with the NFL. Here's the rub on it. We're sitting at this table with aliens. All right? Nanu, nanu. All right? And they go, okay. all right, go tell us Good. about football. <laughs> and you can Ooh. only pick one guy that has ever played the sport of football ever. to be the representative football player okay. for them to learn what football is all about. Who is your guy? The obvious choice is Tom Brady. Yes, that's the only answer. Tom the Brady choice. Tom. Really? Yeah, yeah. You're Tom. not picking uh, Bo Jackson. Oh, Barry Tom Sanders, Tom Patrick Mahomes. No, great choices. Because quarterback is the most important position, and he's the best to ever do it. All right, so you're going to show and, them and, a 48-year-old white guy. Well, 20, I'd show them some just asking. when he was 25, he, 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 he maybe. 20 years. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. And you both in lockstep? I would Did you Tom discuss Tom. this would, before the no, show? Did who, not. who would you do? Tom Brady. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go, Tom Brady. That's the only guy to show you. I mean, the issue with Joe that, to be fair, though, he's the easy answer. Yes. But the problem is that if you use Tom Brady, the aliens wouldn't recognize the need for the athletic ability it takes okay, okay. to be an NFL player. So Fair. part of me was thinking, uh, do I show him Barry Sanders? Do I pick Lawrence Taylor? Great choice. But, I mean, it's a quarterback league. You throw the damn thing. I think Tom Brady's the easy answer. Yeah, the athletic part of it is definitely true. I mean, if you, you could choose a, an athlete. You mentioned Bo Jackson. Doing, I mean, yeah. But then you would, I think you'd be tough to explain football with just showing a running back. Right. All right. So we all agree. Troy, do you agree it's Tom Brady? I agree, Tom You do. And that's a Dallas Cowboy oh, fan. You're not going right to say Aikman or something? Uh, well, if anyone, he'd probably say Drew Pearson. Oh, I okay. never saw those uh, guys. Or Emma <laughs> Smith. I don't know. All right. So that's football, okay? Everybody upstairs agrees it's Tom Brady? Mm hmm. Yeah. Everyone uh, said yes. I'm hearing, there's, there's uh, one hater can you on put there. a camera on Alex upstairs? I sure. Alex Buford, our line producer today, is saying he disagrees. Alex, so who would be your NFL guy? I got to go with Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens? Amazing athlete. What? What a clown. Terrell <laughs> Owens? Or Randy Moss. Wait, you're saying that of all the NFL players that have ever played, the aliens are sitting at the table, you would say you got to watch Terrell Owens to really understand American football? They're the freakiest football? athletes. Wow. Okay. okay. Well, listen, that's why we asked the question. I don't know how they're going to learn football listen, by watching his answer is no worse than your answer. Yeah. Okay. It's just wrong. Yeah. But it's not, it's not worse. <laughs> All right. Let me, uh, th let me go through the NHL just to be respectful. Mm -hmm. And very quickly, Wayne, 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 okay. Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. Done. We all Done. agree it's Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Sure. Is, is there an argument upstairs? Please tell me there's not. Please don't say a vet yes. or something. Okay. Yes. Who? All right. Done. <laughs> all right. Let me go <laughs> to uh, the NBA. Oh. NBA. Who's the one guy like tough, most representative for the aliens to understand what basketball is all about? So you don't necessarily have to pick the best player. Mm -hmm. yeah. you got to pick a player that they can watch and go, I get it. Mm -hmm. Who's your guy? Obvious choice would be Jordan, but I'm going Steph Curry. Steph Curry? I'm going Steph Curry. Why do you pick him? Takes a lot of shots, and there's a lot of threes being shot in the round of the game these days, and no one does it better in the history of the game than Steph Curry. Okay, wrong. Go ahead. Oh. Um, hmm. That represents all of basketball. So the aliens are sitting here. You go. I mean, if you I watch mean, video of this guy, you'll understand basketball. I mean, it has to be Jordan, right? Like it has to. I be, mean, to it me, it's a no-brainer. It has to be Jordan. Now, this could be a generational thing. Like, like, uh, it, like it has to be. I mean, 
It has to be Jordan. There's no other answer. Jordan, listen, Jordan was the greatest player of, of all time. I agree. Now, Steph Curry's the best shooter of all time. Yeah, uh, but I think it's a little generational. Because here's what's funny. Jordan you didn't say LeBron. Gen- I did not. You didn't say LeBron. I didn't say LeBron. Troy? Oh, yeah, I think it's Steph Curry. My man! See, because... It's Jordan a three-point lead. A lot of generations, right? Like, you can get a lot out of watching him play for the yeah. history of basketball. Steph Curry, obviously, what he's done for this generation and for future generations, that's why I went with Jordan. Anybody upstairs want to pick somebody other than Michael Jordan or no? I've got a, I've got a LeBron. I've got a Magic. I've got Ooh, a LeBron. Magic. Ooh, Magic will be good. I like, good I like Magic. Magic. Magic couldn't shoot, though. No, that's a problem. Really Magic passed. couldn't shoot. Uh, but did something at six foot ten inches tall that I've never ben seen. Simmons. Uh, well, and I don't think Ben Simmons is getting any votes. Yes, I do not think anyone's saying Ben Simmons. But can you imagine? Hey, aliens, watch Ben Simmons, and they'll be like, people. <laughs> You people like this? Oh my God. Can you imagine? That'd be great. All right, that brings us to baseball. Yes. All right, and today I know a lot of baseball fans are ecstatic. A lot of teams have. Uh, I saw a report that pitchers and catchers are showing up. Yes, they are. To be honest, I thought that was a porn convention, but it's not. It is. Uh, <laughs> that's just what I thought. I, I thought we were all going to Vegas. Hey, it could work. I kind of like it. That's Even more what, now. Yeah, I, I heard A, pitches and catches. I was like, I'm good for one of them. Yeah. Uh, in a, <laughs> Uh, you played baseball. I did. You made it to the pros. Who uh, would be the guy that you tell the aliens is the guy you need to watch play to understand baseball? The obvious choice would be Mike Trout, but what I'm going to go is a different direction. Really? The, wow. obvi- the real answer is me. I'm going to show them video of me, and here's why. One, daddy hits tanks, and they need to learn how to drop bombs. Two... <laughs> Two, most importantly, it's a game of failure, and not many people <laughs> fail quite as much as this guy did. Hit a lot of tanks, hit a lot of homers. Watch you some Cody Decker and get back to me. <laughs> um, that was Cody's last at bat yeah, uh, as a professional, and it was a walk off in front of 19 people. Yes, which, uh, but those 19 people yeah, loved what yeah. they saw. I'm telling you again, I'm going to come around the table for a second. There's nothing better than the Cody Decker batting stance late in his career. <laughs> come in, come in, come here we go. Ready? I'll stand back a little bit. Yep. Right. It is I accurate. Mean, he, he's trying to be in that. Who's that midget that played baseball? I don't for know his name, but I've seen the photo. I yeah, know what you're saying. Yeah, yep. Eddie Goodell or something like that. Yeah, that's Eddie you. Goodell. Yeah. <laughs> I Eddie Goodell's going to drop tanks. Dwarf. I shouldn't say the M word. Uh, um, uh, who would um, your baseball guy be <laughs> other than the great Cody Decker? Of course. Uh, yeah. Uh, who, by the way, hits tanks. tanks. Well, so Babe Ruth is not a real person, right? The, Babe, we, uh, we, we're not sure about we, Babe Ruth. We've determined this. Um, Although we I mean, keep running the promo, I mean, so we might be. Like, I, I don't even know. Who would be the best Babe Because you, you have to have someone that pitches and hits. Like, would it yeah, be I mean, like. I mean, yeah, I think like, you're I mean, complicating Ota- I mean, this, o- but go ahead. O- Otani, I guess, would be too too soon. I would do, I would do like, I mean, Pete Barry Bonds to me would be like. Yeah. Great choice. Would, would, be, would be a choice. All right. Yeah. I would go Ken Griffey Jr. Great. Oh, I, yeah. Also, I best mean, uh, natural either, player either I ever yeah. saw He's play incredible. baseball. I think Griffin would be good. But, uh, yeah. yeah, so if they do land, mm-hmm. we've got sports covered, yes. Yes. right? Yes, yeah. we do. Soccer's Pele, obviously, and uh, I think we've got all the sports covered. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.